<laughs> you ready? Yeah. Ready to film? Should I be saying? Yeah. Okay. You practiced your yeah. lines. I didn't get a copy of my line. Perfect. <laughs> I tried not to be smiling from the beginning. You can smile. <laughs> Roll the intro. Welcome back to the Max and Dylan Show. I'm your co-host, Max Lascombe, YouTuber slash social media influencer slash co-host co of the Max and Dylan Show. And uh, what do I have to say? <laughs> First, let me introduce my co-host, Dylan O'Brien. Hey everyone, it's Dylan. You might recognize me from movies such as, um, gotta. <laughs> Uh, thanks for having me, Max. Or, or I guess I'm co-hosting, so... Yeah, yeah, you're, not... you're co-host. Okay, well, I'm, I'm happy to be here. And, um, uh, I look just... forward to starting a, uh, an exciting new series. So the first segment of the show is called... On the News. Okay, uh, I gave you my phone. I'm gonna... It's okay, I don't need it. <laughs> I, I remember it up here. I just looked through my news um, cycle today, and the first link that came up, um, can camera person... New Jersey homeowner say... If you live in New Jersey, stay inside. Nightmare fuel there, especially in light of Thanksgiving. Yeah. In light, <laughs> in light of Thanksgiving, stay inside. Stay inside. Well, I, it's just a period when there's a lot of human turkey interaction. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, one thing I forgot to say. This whole show is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Ooh, Thank you guys. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments down below because there's a live studio audience, but there's also a live internet audience. Well, I guess not live. Not live, but an audience for Online. Sure. Going off to a new segment on the show, mm -hmm. yep. as all the segments on the show since it's the first episode. Alright, new, yeah, by definition. The first segment is going to be my favorite video of the week. And this is a video that we selected together. <laughs> Yep. It is an old video that some people might have seen back in the day. I, you know what? <laughs> I think I, yep. I think we might, some of us might have seen it. We might need to blur some of it. I like how you have it directly embedded into the slide there. <laughs> exactly, because then I can, can just, just click, click on the link. It, yeah. yeah, yeah. As you can see, this video is blurred out. <laughs> Classic video, really a lot of classic a lot video. Of good music, a lot of nice dancing. Should we give it a rating? Are we giving it a rating? You can rate it if you want. What are you rating it out of? Out of ten. Out of ten. And it's ten because it's my favorite video of the week. It is. It is both of our favorite videos <laughs> of the week. Did you want cranberry juice by the way? No, I'm good. I don't need. No. It. So I have cranberry juice. You got some cranberry juice. Yeah. Okay. Next segment, and Dylan is going to be doing this part of um of the the show. Mm -hmm. I will. It's called Recreating My Favorite Video of the Week. Oh, God. <laughs> no longer a big fan of this, <laughs> <laughs> this segment. <laughs> Can we do maybe some like Photoshop action and As do some Photoshop? Your face over him? Yeah. Or your body over his body? Yeah, I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather do the first one, to be honest. <laughs> we do need shots of your face from all angles, just for the CGI uh, team. Um, but he was also mouthing the words, so can you... I'm not sure I can mouth the, the Russian lyrics to the Pirates of Caribbean just song. Just move your mouth, I think. And then move your head around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> my tie is... You could have told me my tie was messed up. I like it. It's like a very... Um, it's velvet. It's velvet. It's, it's velvet. velvet. I worked really hard on this, actually. You made it? I, I bought it. Uh, this next segment, this is going to be probably the biggest segment of the day. Um, and it's going to revolve a lot around Dylan O'Brien here. It is the Italian Hour! My name sounds Irish, but I'm actually Italian. Italian, exactly. Um, where are you from in Italy? What's no. your home address? I don't think we should... So of course, he forgot to say he's Italian. He's our resident Italian expert. Or Italian Stallion, one might say. And for today's segment of the Italian Hour, we're going to be determining who is the greatest Italian person of all time. Right? It's a, it's a hard one, but it's, it's a hard one. It's something that has to be done. Yeah. I find and it so, hard to believe that this segment 
will continue on over the course of the show. In theory, there are new Italians born every day. <laughs> true, true. We really we whittled down the, the list of all Italians out there mm -hmm. to the top three. Top three. It was, it was really, it was a no-brainer for the top three. It was a no-brainer for, no for the top three. three. <laughs> and then when you see the top three, <laughs> we're, it, it's going to be clear that it was a no-brainer. <laughs> The first Italian out of the three, Dylan said that this wasn't necessarily his favorite, but I thought it really... <laughs> oh, hopefully it's not who I think it is. <laughs> who do you think it is? Let's just go to number one. Mario. All right. Mario. He's a pretty good one. He is obviously as Italian as Italian gets, yeah. but you don't really love this one as much, right? You'd rather have someone else. Our number two, of course, the great Christopher Columbus. Now this might ru rustle some people's <laughs> jimmies here. Dylan really liked Christopher Columbus here, and he's a, he's a great explorer. He also did some bad things, right? Yep. Did you know? Because you did pick, put him in this list. I, you know what? I, <laughs> maybe... let's, let's look at what he did. Accusations of tyranny and brutality. Obviously, Dylan thinks he's a great person, but is he number one of all time? I think we've covered Christopher Columbus extensively enough. Yep. I have a suspicion who the third one might be. Who do you think the third one is? Let's just go ahead and reveal it to the audience. <laughs> it is the chef, Mario Batali. He's a great chef. He's loved by many. However, in recent years... Is he born in Italy? His name is Mario, dude. I'm <laughs> sure. You're right. Uh, since the Me Too movement, some allegations came out. Sexual misconduct allegations. That's what came out. So, Dylan. <laughs> I really outdid myself with this race, huh? <laughs> out of these three... Who would you rate number one, 100%, top of the list, best Italian of all time? Mario. Mario! The greatest Italian <laughs> of all time. Um, thank you to the production behind the camera for determining, for, for really being really quick with the visuals. Um, <laughs> the Italian Hour. <laughs> Actually, it's cranberry juice. It is cranberry juice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I, don't, I had no idea. If I ever run out, I have two extra bottles. You've got two more cranberry juice. Yeah. It's left over from Perfect. the full video. Okay, anyway, <laughs> we have one more segment. We need to cut to it, cut to the chase, right? This is a question I am posing to you. Oh, okay. It's going to be an easy yes or no answer. Are you circumcised? And it's going to be a reoccurring segment if you say no, because then it, it might change. Did you leave? That's our show for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for having me, Maxie. Well, I guess well, the host, so. Thanks um, for thanks for the audience. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for uh, the audience. Thanks for the live studio thanks audience. No, for I, I, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. That's it. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that.